The Senate just announced that it has scheduled two hearings on this issue, one on November 29th, the other on December 6th. What message does that say to you? Senator? Well, I commend uh, Senator Rosen and she and Representative Lanning have been just terrific to work with. They've been just stalwarts uh, carrying this through with all the resistance uh, they've and uh, non-support that they've encountered um, among their, their colleagues. And uh, having the two Senate hearings is a very important step. And uh, you know, hopefully the House will follow suit. And, and you know, those are uh, very significant developments. And I really appreciate Senator Rosen and uh, Senator Ortman also who's chairing one of the hearings for taking that uh, initiative. What does your instinct tell you about this issue at this point? Well, I think for a lot of people, it's a controversial vote that they'd rather wait until after the November 12 election and take it up in 2013. I mean, that was always the argument for doing it this year is it's much more difficult to do one of these projects in an election year. and. Uh, I'm, I hope I'm proven wrong, but I you know, remain skeptical that there's really a bottom line intention to deal with it uh, either the end of this year, or which looks unlikely now, or, or, or even in the next session. And, you know, I, I mean, we, we could be putting several thousand people to work. This is about an opportunity to clear off a contaminated site, the largest Superfund site in Minnesota at Arden Hills or a blighted site in Minneapolis and put several thousand people to work for three or four years of building the facility and there'll be uh, ancillary development around it. Uh, you know, there, I wish we could develop both of them. I wish we had the reasons and the means to develop both of them because there would be even more thousands of people working. And uh, you know, that's again where you know, the g public sector's role in economic development and we can do it without a single dollar of general fund tax revenue. So it will be entirely funded by users of the stadium through uh, you know, ticket taxes and souvenirs and uh, people who want to you know, involve in, in gambling. So you know, there's a way I think we can address the principal objection which people have, which is no, no tax dollars, no general fund tax dollars go into the project, either local or state, and we can still get it accomplished and put people to work.